In this video, we will introduce a mathematical object which was recently developed at the European Space Agency's Advanced Concepts team called Event Transition Tenses. Systems driven by neural dynamics, or in other words, systems whose dynamics contains a neural network somewhere on the right-hand side of its equations, are called neural ODEs, short for Neural Ordinary Differential Equations. And recently, these systems have attracted a lot of attention. As we shall see, neural ODEs are applicable in a broad range of different use cases. Take for instance a prey-predator model, which describes how populations of predators and prey evolve over time. By adding a neural network to this model, we can make it better at matching real-world observations, capturing complex ecological dynamics that traditional equations might miss. Or a neural network which learns to guide and control a spacecraft to perform a landing on a comet while minimizing the amount of propellant use. Or a neural network which corrects the Hamiltonian directly from observed trajectory data to learn to incorporate in the resulting equations of motion the irregularities of the gravitational field in the tree body problem. Or finally, a neural network which learned to guide and control a quadcopter to fly through a square gate. Tools to analyze such systems are primarily restricted to first-order gradient information. We propose to expand these tools with a new mathematical object called Event Transition Tensors, which not only makes use of high-order differential information, it also allows to study our system on an event manifold. Let's further define our system by some initial conditions x0 and a differentiable manifold that characterizes some event being triggered. This manifold can be as trivial as reaching a predefined future time, or very complex, such as reaching a subset of the system's possible configurations. The goal here is to study the effect of changes in initial conditions, or neural network parameters theta, on the state of the system at the event manifold. In order to achieve this, we construct an analytical model of the system's behavior by computing its event transition tensors. These tensors allow us to conduct a rigorous, mathematically grounded analysis of the system's behavior at the event manifold, eliminating the need to employ Monte Carlo simulations. Before this gets too abstract, Let's illustrate these event transition tensors in the case of the neurocontrolled landing on a comet. Let's consider a mission described by the following optimal control problem. A spacecraft needs to perform a mass optimal pinpoint landing on the comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko. Note that the coordinate system used to visualize the trajectories in this video is a rotating frame in which the comet remains stationary. Now, consider thousands of mass-optimal trajectories, each having different initial conditions, but all terminating at the pinpoint landing site. Such trajectories are described by ordinary differential equations. To obtain these quickly, we use Prontregen's maximum principle and a data augmentation technique called the backward generation of optimal examples. Now, if the initial conditions are chosen carefully, this results in a bundle of trajectories which roughly encompasses the state space the spacecraft might encounter during its mission. It turns out that the mapping between the states and optimal control can be learned. Using behavioral cloning with the states as features and the controls as labels, a simple feedforward neural network can be trained to learn the optimal control policy. The resulting network is called a guidance and control network. Compared to classical approaches, for example traditional nonlinear model predictive control, the trajectory generation and trajectory tracking steps both happen simultaneously. Plugging this network in the right-hand side of the dynamics results in the neural ordinary differential equations. The solution to this system is fully defined by its initial conditions and the network parameters. Now, let's consider a case where the event is a complex subset of the system's possible states. Say we are interested in analyzing the neural ODEs to see how well the guidance and control network is able to steer the spacecraft to an altitude of 250 meters above the surface of the comet. 
This may be motivated by a mission requirement, dictating that the spacecraft reaches a certain velocity at that given altitude. To define this event manifold, we need to take into account the highly irregular shape of the comet. We do this by sampling over a million points around the three-dimensional mesh. The Müller-Trümbe intersection algorithm allows us to quickly determine whether any given point is enclosed within this shape. We can then label each point inside the event with minus one and all points outside with plus one. We also use all points of the three-dimensional mesh and label these with zero. A small feedforward neural network can then be trained to represent the desired event manifold. Its zero crossings are at an altitude of 250 meters above the surface of the comet. Note that the event manifold does not need to be represented by a neural network for our methodology to work. It can be any function of the state. We can now construct our event transition tensors for our system. These tensors allow us to rigorously analyze the performance of our GetNet at the event. For instance, imagine we have, due to navigation errors, an initial uniform state uncertainty of 25 meters in position and 0.1 kilograms in mass. We can then verify that given this uncertainty, the final relative velocity of the spacecraft with respect to the comet will be less than 0.23 meters per second in almost all cases thereby adding a valuable tool for analysis of neural systems, which will certainly remain under scrutiny if only Monte Carlo-based simulations are available for certification. To show the versatility of event transition tenses, we apply them to a diverse set of problems. The first concerns the famous lotka volterra equations, which are used to model prey-predator populations. The event in this case is defined as the optimal start of the hunting season to achieve desired target populations as fast as possible. The event transition tenses allow us here to see how uncertainties in initial conditions affect the optimal starting date of the hunting season. The second data-driven problem is one where the network directly learns the system's Hamiltonian in order to capture irregularities in the gravity field of tidally locked binary asteroids. The event in this case is a simple sphere around the target body. The point is to investigate how uncertainties in the initial conditions of such a ballistic landing would affect the uncertainties on the landing region of the asteroid. We also present a final scenario where the model encapsulates optimality principles via a guidance and control network. This problem is challenging due to the highly nonlinear dynamics of the drone. The event transition tenses allow us to study in this case how accurately the guidance and control network flies the drone through the center of a two-dimensional gate. 